All right, everybody, so we're building the X-Cub and uh, we're using an eight channel receiver, uh, X8R, very common receiver. But a lot of times on these bigger airplanes, you need a couple extra channels. So a real easy way to do that with FreeSky is you get um, the S-Bus decoder. So you got this little guy, it adds four channels. So basically this is gonna plug into the S-Bus portion of the receiver and it gives you four, four extra channels. So this will turn, well, this will stay eight channel, but then this adds four more. So we'll have a total of 12. We need a couple more channels on the X-Cub. Now to do this, you're gonna need the decoder itself, the S-Bus decoder, but then you're also gonna need this channel changer. Uh, this is a free sky, just literally called a channel changer. But this is how you're gonna kind of program this. So let's see if we can get this working here. Um, so you can see we got two little outputs here or inputs I should say we got the battery and the servo so in this case this is where we're going to plug this in so negative to negative okay going to plug uh, the battery in and what we're going to see is we're going to see some lights come on and then we're going to program it channels 9 through 12 just an extension off of our receiver so make sure our polarity is correct Negative and positive as per the picture. There we go. All right, so we got a couple things going on over here. On the actual decoder itself, you can see there's um, four LED lights. So you can see one, two, three, four. So we've got this button here using a wooden chopstick. So one, two, three, four. So we're gonna start with one. That's gonna be channel nine. Channel two is gonna become 10, 3, 11, 4, 12. But you gotta do that over here on the channel changer. So, what we're gonna do, let's see if we can figure this out. So we got a little wheel over here. This thing's kind of fiddly, guys, so just pardon me if it's uh... So we're gonna move this wheel. You kind of just click it up and down. Uh, no, I don't wanna set that. Let's see, how do I get it back to... Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna make, up oh. <laughs> That hard, huh? So you, there we go. Okay, so, so you, you wanna, click it to highlight the cursor. Okay, and you're making channel one into channel nine? Nine, that's correct. So we're gonna go up to nine. Oh, okay, there. Set to nine. We're gonna click the wheel in like the but like a button. Mm -hmm. I think click it again. Nope. Yeah, you, uh, you do have to click it again. How do I get to set? There, there we go. Set. And you click it. There. And you can see the top one went to nine. All right. So now we're gonna go here, move this over to two, and you can see we're gonna make. So you're gonna click. We're gonna go back to here. So you click and then go up to ten. Okay. Okay, and then roll the dial. Roll the dial to set. 10, okay? Mm -hmm. Go to number three. Kind of just repeat this. This is gonna be channel 11 now. So we're gonna get this back uh, over to here somehow. Nope, click, there we go. Oop. <laughs> so this thing's a little weird. There we go, click, there's the cursor. 11, click. Set, click, okay, last one, number four, so we're going to go back there, oops, do it every time, there we go, 12, get rid of that, go to set, 12, that's it. Okay, so we have successfully programmed the SBUS decoder. So we're gonna unplug all this. Let's see if we can demonstrate this. So we've already bound this receiver up. We will plug this into SBUS, because remember this is an SBUS decoder. So you find your little SBUS terminal. You can see the graphic. It's this bottom set of pins down there. And you gotta make sure you're the correct negative and positive, which we are, so it goes like this, okay? 
just like that. So let's grab another servo that we're using on the X Cub. Okay, so remember, this says channel one, two, three, four, but remember we made it nine, 10, 11, 12. So let's go to one here, and which is the bottom one. And negative is like that. So this is a quick, I shouldn't say quick, but it's an easy way to get you um, four extra channels, okay? So we have this on channel nine now. And you can see this is only an eight channel receiver. So let's uh, get our radio master on. We've already, like I said, we've already bound up. Switch warning. Uh, let's, there it goes. And something I want to show you guys also, when you bind up, I don't know if you can see the screen, Mary. You want to bind up right here, channel range, 1 through 16. So usually that comes in a channel range 1 through 8. you got to change that to 16, okay? So if you, if you only do 1 through 8, you're not going to be able to do this SBUS decoder. So let's see if we can get this to work. So let's plug in the battery. I might have to set up a, a channel on 9 or a servo input on 9 here, but we can figure that out. Um, where's my negative right there? There we get power. All right. So let's go into inputs, and we'll just make something channel 9 here. Because um, you can see we don't have anything on there for 9 yet. We are on channel 9. I just assigned a random you know, switch just to show you guys that we are on channel 9 here. And we've got, I just put it on switch D to show you. But it's working. Mm -hmm. So there we go. So the SBUS decoder and the channel changer are what you need to get four extra channels on your X8R. So now we have 12 channels because for the X-Cub, we needed a couple extra. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that helped you out guys. This is really cool. We got these from um, the SBUS decoder and the channel changer from Aloft Hobbies. They're uh, one of the primary people that deal with all the free sky stuff. Really affordable way to get four extra yeah, we'll channels. we'll put the links. In. Yeah, we'll link it, but um, super easy. Pretty easy to me. What do you think, Mary? Yeah. Wasn't too bad. No, I thought it was going to be a little more complicated. Yeah, so works great. So we got four extra channels now and we got a 12 channel receiver. So anyway, guys, hopefully that helped you out. Um, like I said, this is just kind of a sub video to our X-Cub video, but um, we're ready to move on in the X-Cub. Thanks for watching.